Hey basketball players, today I'm going to talk to you about why fingertips are important in basketball and how you can improve your ability to use fingertips to be able to control the ball better. Okay, so number one, why are fingertips so important in basketball? Why does your coach always say to shoot the ball with a gap between your palm and the ball? And why does your coach always say to dribble with your fingertips? Why is that so important? Well, let me explain that to you right now. Your fingertips are what control the ball. If you are using just your palm, you're not going to have any control over the ball at all. With fingertips, you can control where it goes, you can do in and out dribbles, you can go between your legs while still controlling where that ball is going to go. If you use your, your palm, it's not going to. And by dribbling with your palm, you're not going to have any control over what this ball does at all. So by using your fingertips, you're, you're going to be able to be able to control that ball and also be able to shoot the ball better. Why I say this is because let's say you're about to shoot the ball. Well, if you're gonna be dribbling with your palm, and you're dribbling, dribbling with your palm and you bring it towards yourself, you're really out of control. You have to use your fingertips. Without your fingertips, there's no way for you to be able to control this ball. It's like eating. You, you don't eat with your palm, right? So you, you, you eat with your fingertips or you use your fingertips to control a fork or a spoon. Same idea. And why do we say as coaches and, and uh, trainers to say to shoot the ball with space between your palm and the ball? Well, I'm going to explain that to you right now. If you shoot with just your palm, when you go up for your shot, look how wobbly this is. Versus if I use my palm or my fingertips, I got a lot more control over this ball where it goes. Sure, it helps that my hands are big and I can pretty well palm this ball when, it, when my hands are just a bit damp. But it's the same idea as when you're, small, when you're younger and smaller with smaller hands. You can control this ball a lot better with your fingertips. If you go up for your shot and you have your palm on the ball, no space. If you get hit, it's able to fall out easier. Well, if I got my fingertips on it and I'm controlling it to go up for a shot, it's a lot harder to, to be able to lose. That's why fingertips are important. So what are some things that you can do as a player to be able to strengthen your ability to use your fingertips? Well, a lot of that power comes from your wrist and your forearm. So what can we do to be able to strengthen our forearm and our wrist so we can have more control over that ball? Number one is very simple. Get one of those stress balls, one of those squeezing stress balls, and work on that every other day for a good, I would say, five to seven minutes. Just squeeze it with each hand, go back and forth, and keep on squeezing it. That's going to allow you to have a lot more control over that ball. Obviously, it doesn't happen overnight, but by doing that over a month, two month, three month period, you're gonna become a lot stronger in your forearms. Another exercise is to get a bar, a weight bar, some dumbbells, whatever, whatever, keep your arm at a 90 degree, bend your wrist down and back up, just like this if you have a dumbbell in your hand. That's going to also really strengthen your forearms and your wrists. And then the last thing is something you can do with the basketball, and that is get your feet shoulder width apart and dribble with one finger at a time. Dribble with your middle finger, dribble with your ring finger, and then your small finger, and then your thumb. That's going to really strengthen your wrists and your fingers and your forearms so that you can control this basketball so much better. Now, I trained a player about 10 years ago. It was one of my first players that I ever trained, and he, his wrist strength was really crazy. Some of the things that he was able to do on the court were insane. He was able to shoot really well. He was able to get the ball and dribble the ball in and out between players with no issues at all. And because he had such strong wrist strength, he was able to steal the ball and rip the ball from players on defense a lot easier and a lot better than a lot of other players at his age. He later on played Canadian University, but I still remember that because of his wrist strength, he was elevated so much higher than the rest of the players on the court just because of how strong his forearms and his wrists and his fingers really were. 
Now, I hope that this has given you some great tips on how you are able to become a better basketball player. If this video has helped, hit that like button and subscribe, and I'll see you guys again next time.